Well, globalisation offers uh, Māori uh, tremendous opportunities, and I know there's some negative sides to globalisation, which I won't discuss now, but the opportunities are extraordinary, and never before has uh, uh, Māori business had this opportunity to leave our own shores and take all our business activities offshore. FOMA has actually provided the pathway to allow us to uh, explore uh, the issues not only of uh, commercialization but the issues of people because FOMA is actually about people, tribes and uh, what they might do in terms of uh, protecting uh, their, their investment and also protecting their whenua. Our strength as Māori is, comes back to the base upon which we're going to drive our businesses. What, are, what is it that we really want to achieve? And ultimately, and I haven't come across any Māori organisation that says different, we're about protecting the Taonga Tukuiho. It's there that we begin to interact with other people who have the same worldviews as we do, who believe strongly in kinship systems, and they want to see uh, our tribal systems, our kinship systems thrive through business and economic activities. We've probably walked pathways that we can share with our other Indigenous groups and they've probably gone through issues that we can, we can learn from as well. But I think the biggest, at the end of the day, it's a, if it's about improving the well-being of our people and, and, and re-establishing, redefining our culturality so that our kids can grow up with, this, with that foundation in them, then there is some commonality on how we can work together in a business sense. There are, um, according to UN figures, something like 300 to 400 million indigenous peoples in the world. 80% of them live in Asia. And the Pacific uh, is a small percentage of that, um, uh, numbering around about 12 million at the moment. I think it's an exciting time for indigenous people across the world. Um, you know, there's a will, one of the things we want to extend on from is um, cooperating with the Aboriginals, the First Nations people in Canada, because they're excited. The American Indians, they're excited, and they're doing exciting things. And you know, I think it's really about connecting all that excitement, excitement between within ourselves, within here in Aotearoa, and externally with, uh, with other Indigenous people around the globe. Over the next 50 years, the Indigenous communities get to get up to 700 to maybe 800 million people. Many of those Indigenous people will live a quality of lifestyle that we have now. That means they are potential new markets, and there is absolutely no reason why Māori business shouldn't be orientated to serving the, the um, the commercial needs and aspirations of other Indigenous communities. But in terms of uh, moving forward, we actually have to step outside our comfort zone. Uh, and we need, uh, we have to become a very much part of the global community rather than to be reliant on other people. My, I suppose my anxiety over the years has been that if we do nothing, then we become uh, we become at the behest of, of the rest of the world. And I, I don't think that's in our best, best interest. And we, um, I think today, the leadership we have to show today is actually prepare our children and our grandchildren and the grandchildren yet to be born how to be global thinking Indigenous people, largely because that's where our business and economics will go.